Hi, I'm Harper. Ciao, I'm Eva. Today we're making a recipe that recently we've gotten a lot of requests for, and uh, the requests keep making me chuckle because uh, the dish sort of has a little silly name. Harper, why it has a silly name? Nudie? A nudie, Harper, yes, but it has a reason, because they are nothing less than the naked stuffing of the ravioli. That's why it's called nudie. But it, it means naked in Italian, naked, too. Naked, naked stuffing in this case. Before we begin, a quick shout out to a pasta grammarian in action. Brownie, you made a great job, not just doing a grissini that they look very, very good, but also doing spizzolos, so very good job, Brownie. If you want to become a pasta grammarian, you don't have to make your own grissini, although that would be nice. You just got to hit that subscribe button. Harper, what do we have in front of you? All right, we got a whole bunch of spinach, ricotta cheese, Two words about the ricotta cheese. Originally, this recipe is made with sheep ricotta. If you are so lucky that you can find the sheep ricotta, please use it. Otherwise, use whatever you have. Pepper, salt, parmigiano. This is just an excuse because you knew that it was parmigiano. <laughs> it could have been pecorino. You can see the difference, but... Uh... I can't see the difference, but I can taste the difference. Nutmeg, sage, one egg, some butter, and I'm gonna assume all-purpose flour. Now that you listed all the ingredients, we start from the spinach because we need to boil them. And look at that, you've got my water ready for me. So you need to put uh, the spinach there, but it will take like less than one minute. That's a lot of spinach. Seems to be a lot of spinach because in reality, after they are boiling, they will be yeah, like that. Yeah, it'll cook down to nothing. What do you think? They're looking pretty soft. See, Harper, I think that they are done. So you can transfer the spinach from there to here. Try to drain all the water because we don't need, we need very dried spinach. Do you ever watch Popeye? Certo, braccio di ferro. In Italian we call him braccio di ferro. Arms of iron? Yes. That's what you call Popeye? Sì, That's his name? Braccio di ferro. Sì. Wait, what do you call the character olive oil? Olivia. You call her Olivia? Yes. You don't call her like olio d'olive? Olivia, that reminds the name olive oil. Okay, and there's our spinach. What we need to do with our spinach is to squeeze them. But because I'm a good girl and I don't want you to burn your uh, wonderful hands. So Thank you. You are welcome. You are going to use this. Which means that you will transfer the spinach here, you will squeeze the spinach. Can you see how much I love you? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Nothing, could, yes, yes. I could say you to do this with your hands instead. That's love right there. Is not forcing your husband to burn his hands. I think that our spinach are ready. So you can transfer back in the bigger bowl, except if you don't want to work in this. No, I'm good with the bigger one. And now it's very, very important that you cut. Cut the spinach? spinach. See, si. I could ask you to do with the knife. Now they are very, very hot, but I don't want to burn your hands. So, so you can do with the scissors. Why do I feel like I'm being treated like a kindergartner? <laughs> No. Ava, come back. I need adult supervision. I want you to be safe, so I moved the, the hot water from here to the sink, <laughs> so I'm sure that uh, you don't burn yourself. <laughs> Can I check? Yes, Miss Ava. It's like I need to be sure what you are doing. Now that you did this wonderful job with our spinach, with a wooden spoon, you mix the ricotta, into okay. the spinach. We don't want the water of the ricotta. Okay. So, you mix the cheese. How much cheese should we add? Here we have always the southern Italian rule. What you put, you find. So... As much as you want? Be generous, be generous. Also because the ricotta is not sheep ricotta, so we need to give... Some sheepiness to it. Add the egg. A generous pinch of nutmeg. A generous pinch. That seems pretty generous. Another generous pinch of black pepper. And a generous pinch of salt. 
They don't need to taste like the ocean, but they need to be salted. Would you consider this to be a pasta in the same way that gnocchi is kind of considered a pasta? Yes, because they are served as first course. So usually you eat or a pasta or a plate of nudi or a risotto or a gnocchi. Yes, so. We consider them a first course because you will mix all the ingredients together. We miss the last ingredient, which is the flour. How much flour do we need? We don't really know until we don't feel the consistency because depending on the ricotta that you are going to use, depending on how much water still your spinach has, maybe you need more or you need less. So you don't really want it to be like soft cheese anymore. You want to kind of make a dough, right? We need that dough, yes, because uh, then we are going to cook them. And it's very important with the nudi to reach the right consistency otherwise when you are going to cook them they will just disappear in the water so it's very important that you add more flour right unless now. you want to make nudie soup which is another wonderful it's another um, option Tuscan traditional dish right in your, mind. Soup. In your mind Arthur maybe yes that's it now it's very very good so Harper, now we need to make the nudi. With your hands that you didn't burn before, you make some ball, and then you dust with a little bit of flour and put here. It's still a wet yeah, dough, it's still so you can't do like that. You need just to try to give a shape and put in the, in the flour. That looks perfect. Another name of nudi mm -hmm. is malfatti. Malfatti? Which means poorly made. Oh, it's perfect for me. <laughs> okay, we have a bunch of poorly made malfatti nudi. They are not poorly made. They look pretty good, actually. They look pretty good. What we need to do is prepare our sauce to season the nudi. And I assume we need our last two ingredients here. Butter and sage. We are going to do this in a very traditional way, but feel free also to season your nudi if you like with a very simple tomato sauce. Or if you have, for example, some bechamel with some uh, grated parmigiano. Anyway, we are going to use butter and sage. So the first thing is put the butter in the pan, turn on the heat, medium, add the sage, salt the water, it's actually kind of interesting because I'm remembering you've made ravioli for me before with a butter and sage sauce, so it makes sense that you would make naked ravioli with butter and sage sauce. Oh, also made for you gnocchi with butter and sage. That's another good one. That's another good one. You can't really cook this in once in this pot because I could use one bigger, but why? 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 So you can start with the first six and then okay. we will cook the other. Do I just drop them in? Gentle, Harper. Very gentle. Don't destroy the malfatti. Don't burn your hands, guys. Should I stir them at all? Don't touch them. Okay. Don't touch them. I won't touch them. How do we know when they're done? Because they start to float, Harper. Oh, like gnocchi. This is the moment of the truth. If they disappear now, we made the... You made <laughs> You made Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have a problem. Now, Arpir, with all your kindness, so act like an elephant in a space full of crystals. Oh, you mean gentleness? Gen gentleness, kindness. Use whatever you want, don't be rude, but try Just to... Just stir them a little bit? A little bit. Okay. They're starting to flow, yeah. Which means that they are ready. Okay. So very gentle, transfer there, here. Okay. So I can cook the rest. Now you need just to, yes, gentle harper because we need to keep the nudi in their shape. Using the spoon, you can pour some butter. Oh, I can baste them? Si. Mm. Oh, it's gonna be good. So harper, you didn't break your first nudi. It's almost like I had someone standing over my shoulder who knew what she was doing. Pretty much, because you don't know how many times I destroyed my nudie. Really? 
It's very important if I can suggest, even if the first time you are not successful, don't worry, keep doing, because there will be a time in which you will reach your perfection. We need just two or three minutes to make them absorb the taste of the butter and the sage. Okay. But so, Harper, I think that they are done. Yeah, See? ready to serve? Ready to serve. Wow, the smell is just amazing in here. The smell is amazing, Harper, but the normal portion of nudie is five. This bowl is just for me. Did you want some of this? Buon bon appetito. appetito! Sometimes there are foods where you eat it, stuffed foods, where you just go, you know what? This filling is so good, why can't I just eat that? If you've ever felt that way about ravioli, this is the dish yeah. for you. So good. So good. I'm grateful to our viewers for recommending this so much that I had to go to you and be like, can we make, what is this, nudie? Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and we will see you next time. Ciao! Ciao.